I will never forget somebody looking at me and saying, you're a drug addict because you want to be. They pointed their finger in my face and said, you are a prostitute because you want to be. And I said some few choice words back to them. Trust me, I did. But on the inside, I was saying, no, I don't. No, I don't, I don't want to be this. But it's because of people like you that I am this. Is anybody hearing me? Am I preaching to anybody else besides myself? So what I'm trying to tell us is, is that generational curse thing and those places on the inside that the devil is telling you that you can't stop. Jesus bled for that. He was wounded for that. So that you don't have to keep being wounded. So that you don't have to keep cutting yourself because you're trying to show somebody on the outside that you're hurting because you know that you're hurting on the inside. So here I'll cut myself so maybe I can stop the pain on the inside by feeling the pain on the outside. I'm talking to somebody and it's probably somebody on the other side of that camera, but I'm trying to help somebody because God wants to set us free. So the next time that the enemy comes to you and lies to you with this generational curse mess, I hate it with a passion. The next time he comes to you and he begins to lie to you about that, it is a truth, but it is not the truth. Can, I, can somebody hear me? It is a truth, but it is not the truth. What you need to do is you need to tell the devil to go back to hell where he came from, and you need to just quickly, out of your mouth, you need to say, but he was bruised for my iniquity. And all of a sudden, all of his chains and all of his power falls because you just spoke word and it's law. Whoa, somebody better get that. You bet that's a tweetable moment. You, if you want to put something on Facebook today, put that instead of your selfie. Anyway, <sighs> and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. Now that word peace is just peace, kind of like spit. Y'all remember spit? Okay, the word peace is just peace. What it, it's not a watcher. What it means is nothing missing and nothing broken. He was chastised so that we could walk in nothing missing, nothing broken. So the punishment for all that that you did and all that that's in you that you don't really want in you, but you don't know how to get it out. First of all, he was wounded for it. He was bruised for it. But then he turned around and was chastised for it. Why was he chastised, Pastor? He was chastised so that everything that was coming to you hit him. Chastisement. Chastisement is me getting what's coming to me. I said, chastisement is me getting what's coming to me. You were in a court of law and you were found guilty and they brought up the evidence, but he was chastised so that his peace would be on you. He took what was coming to you. This is good stuff right here, y'all. This is good stuff. In other words, the punishment that was meant for us and that was needed for us to live a life of nothing missing and nothing broken, Jesus took it. Jesus took it. He bore it so that we could walk in freedom and he bore it for free. It cost you nothing. It cost you nothing but to surrender. And by his stripes, the Bible said, we are healed. We are healed. That literally means body, soul, and spirit. In other words, your mind was healed because of his stripes. Your emotions were healed because of his stripes. Your sickness, your pain healed because of his stripes. Is anybody here, man? Am I helping anybody? So he was the sacrifice for our sin debt. He bore the chastisement for our peace. He took the stripes for our healing body, soul, and spirit. He gave us his watcher. We just learned that. Okay. He left at our disposal warring angels that hasten to his word. 
He sent us the comforter. Why are we defeated? Why are we defeated? Okay. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build your faith today to the point that we will realize what we have in Christ so that we will believe what he said and so that we will maximize the life that he gave us to the fullest. If I were you, I would walk out of this place today determined to turn it around. I would be determined. You know what? I'm leaving here different than what I came. Something needs to change right here. And he said, and all we like sheep have gone astray. In other words, all of us done messed up. I don't care how perfect you think you are and how holy you think you are. Don't come up here bringing that mess to me because I know your breath stinks in the morning. Anyway, and, and all we like sheep have gone astray. And we have turned everyone to his own way. You went to your own way. And the Lord has laid upon himself the iniquity of us all. We've all gone astray. We've all done our own thing and went our own way, disregarding the freedom that Jesus died for. And see, God knew that before he ever did it. This was in Isaiah. Yet the Father still laid the iniquity of our choices on his son.